Ag Tech Tech Tip Entering Strata Boreholes In the latest version of Gradework, strata boreholes may now be entered by depth, thickness, or elevation. Typically, strata boreholes are entered by depth to the top of the strata layer. This is common when the strata layers are documented by drilling borings or test pits. The depth of the different types of soil or rock are recorded. In this case, the strata boreholes would be entered by depth. The elevation will be calculated based on the depth from the existing ground. The thickness will be calculated based on the difference between the depths and elevations. If a specified strata surface is not present on the current borehole, you must enter the depth to the next strata surface that is encountered. This will result in a thickness of zero for the non-existent surface. For example, if a borehole does not show any clay, you would enter the same depth as the rip rock and the thickness of the clay will be zero. If the last strata layer is not encountered, you must enter a depth that is deeper than the cut so there will be no volume. For example, if there is no shot rock and the deepest cut is 15 feet, enter 16 for the depth and it will fall below the cut. The thickness of the last strata surface will not apply because the bottom of the cut will determine the thickness of the last strata layer. Alternatively, the strata boreholes may be entered by elevation. When entering by elevation, the depth will be calculated from the existing elevation. The thickness will still be the difference between the depths and elevations of the different strata layers. On rare occasions, you may be provided the thickness of the strata layer. In this case, the depth and elevations will be calculated based on the existing elevation.